You know, if you've been paying attention, there's a lot of things going on in the spiritual world where Satan and people that he's influencing, innocent people, people on the left, bad people even on the right, uh, not even that, but just a lot of those that are within the spirit of the Antichrist, working in certain industries, working in the midst of certain movements, and they're pushing for territory. And if you are paying attention in the education system, uh, in the legal system, legislative system, and culture and society, with a lot of things being pushed, even in health, I've talked about before, a lot of things are being pushed on you, whether it's to uh, adhere and agree to certain views, uh, non-unbiblical and uh, worldly views, whether it's, um, you know, the rights of people, but that goes against what uh, God wants, whether it's um, the education stuff and pushing and doctor indoctrinating uh, ki uh, children and kids these days with so many of the LGBTQ stuff, uh, some of the um, uh, the race stuff and so many other things right now. And they're uh, being pushed on all of us. And right now, because so many people, especially Christians and those that have more conservative voices and more even biblically based values, they're being marginalized and they're being shut down. They're being censored and they're uh, not having a voice because people think with this woke movement, with this liberal agenda and all these things that it's OK. We'll just let them be. We're just going to love on them, you know, from us from the sidelines. We're just going to let these things um, happen. And the problem is that a lot of us are too weak and we're just letting things go. We're not praying and we're not fighting these things. And I'm not saying that you need to go have a fist fight with people. I'm not saying that you have to excommunicate them and shut them out of their uh, of your life. But because we're not stepping up in prayer, we're not taking on the full armor of God and doing these things. And I've talked about this before, but we're in a period of testing. And there's a lot of things going on with your understanding and your purview of the world in understanding and discerning what's going on around you but also to take action and to step up. And that doesn't mean that everybody has to go out and run for office or be a politician or have a, a YouTube channel or something like that. But you have to be able to be active where you are, to be praying especially, and to be supporting and fighting and uh, aligning yourself, educating yourself, and seeing what's going on instead of being part of the problem, being part of the dissension, being part of the argument. Because I see so many Christians I see so many people just taking the other side and just trying to justify it by saying, oh, we're just loving them. We're just allowing this to happen because, you know, we don't know and so many other excuses. But you have to know that each action, each thing, if you look at it from the perspective of God, each uh, of those things is sin or not sin. Right. And there are, you know, of course, gray areas. But for some of these things that are being pushed on the kids that are being um, manipulated as propaganda and as a message and even outright false uh, misinformation and untrue things because we're not aware, we're not awake as Christians, we're not uh, discerning of that, we're not asking the Holy Spirit to reveal this to us. There's still a lot of people asleep and in the dark and it's causing a lot of confusion, of dissension and chaos. And right now God is testing us. God is testing us as a society, as a body of Christ, to really see what is truth, right? What is it that's happening that's real? What is it that God would want for us? What is it that we need to be uh, listening to and who we need to be listening to? A lot of us were confused about that, and that's because we don't have a backbone. We don't have a root in Christ. We don't have a desire to wake up, and because a lot of us are compartmentalized, we look at uh, God and we look at society, we look at our Christian life as just about, you know, our character, just about uh, loving uh, Jesus just in our you know own room or in our closet, like I, I've said before. Uh, we're looking at things just with the safe stuff. A lot of us, we look at things and we see it only from what we want to comprehend as being uh, good and, and safe to understand. For other stuff that we're not comfortable with, stuff that we don't understand, stuff that we just think is uh, impossible to grasp with our own reasoning and with our own mind. We don't take on and really tackle and ask God for discernment because we're afraid. 
and we're going along with the world. And so that's the problem right now. A lot of us are asleep and many of us that are awake, we can't go back to sleep. And so that's why a lot of us that are being called, you know, conspiracy theorists, they're being called just radical people. They're being called whatever name, right? And it's not everybody. I'm not talking about this whole group. There's bad people within that as well. But those that are awake, they seem normal, they are normal, but they're just telling you, hey, I think this is what's going on. There's an injustice. There is this agenda being pushed. People are being indoctrinated. There's this education issue going on right now. There's this push to try to deceive you. And because you're not willing to be awake to really discern this, you are not fighting uh, this fight along with so many other people. And you know, a lot of people call them patriots, but I just call those that are fighting for righteousness and justice, those that are on the side of God, and whether they are Christian or not, or whether they are patriot or not, that's something else. But I'm focusing in on what's righteous, what's good, what's, what's truthful, and what is it that God would want as a society, as a country, as a world? Do we want to tear down our idols? Do we want to tear down um, you know, these statues of Baal and, the, and these totem poles, right? Uh, like abortion. Those are modern day idols. Those are modern day statues of Baal that we have erected in this country. And people don't understand that. They think it's okay. Oh yeah, it's uh, pro or it's it's a choice thing. It's fine. Just let them be as long as you're not part of it. But these are idols. These are, are statues. These are these um, uh, towers that are being erected in all these cities and all these places across the nation. And there's many more, right? The LGBTQ and just so many other things. Those things are being erected and we have to tear that down and we don't understand it from the higher level in the big picture. And because we want to compartmentalize our Christian life and who God is just to the safe stuff, to the stuff about suffering and about, you know, your character and about just um, doing evangelistic ministries and stuff like that, the safe stuff. We don't see it from the perspective of God in a higher level. So that's why we got to be fighting. we got to be praying. And a lot of us, we're not even strategizing. The enemy is strategizing right now, and he's using everybody and anything possible to push these things. And if you are not uh, strong in Christ, then you are susceptible to jumping on this bandwagon and just talking about it, right? Oh, no, you need to love them, and you got to, I'm, I'm all for uh, new woke movements and, and these new rights. And everybody that's open like that, they're going to be susceptible to the move that the spirit of the Antichrist and what the demonic movement is going to is going to do to people. But for those that are Christians, we're so into ourselves, we're so into our own thoughts and our reasoning and our rationale that we're just fighting with each other. We're fighting with others that, um, you know, they, they just want certain standards and they're just pointing fingers and hating on people, but they're not looking to the other side, the left, the demonic, and uh, the stuff that's pushing into our uh, education systems, our legal systems, our legislation, and all these other things. And they're looking and they're picking the wrong battles because they're asleep and they're going with the safe stuff. But really, God wants us to be awake. And even if you're not going to do something big and radical, you have to at least uh, be aware and be uh, uh, in understanding of what's going on. And that requires prayer, discernment, asking the Lord. You don't go and just believe anybody, but you got to go and ask the Lord for that discernment. And so God is waiting on us because we're in a period of testing and Satan and and all of his minions and, and people that are being influenced, they're taking territory right now. And you, um, because as a Christian, as even a majority of them, of, of people, um, or maybe, maybe it's a, a minority, but they're asleep right now. And more and more are, people are waking up and God is, uh, you know, just shaking people right now, and, th- and that's good. But other people are still awake, are, are still asleep, and so that's why you got to be in prayer. You have to really pay attention because if you just let things be, and you see, you know, a house on fire over there, next thing you know, your house is going to be on fire because all the other houses are going to start catching fire, and it's going to get to your doorstep. And when it gets to your doorstep, then you're going to panic when it's about your kids, when it's about your life, when it's going to impact you, but you didn't do anything before that. You didn't pray. You didn't uh, educate yourself. You didn't have healthy discussions. You didn't push for these things uh, ahead of time. And instead you waited. And so that's the problem right now. A lot of people are waiting 
uh, they're unsure. But uh, I, I tell people, you got to pray about it and ask. If you're listening even to this video, you're still catching up on, you know, current events and stuff like that. You have to at least ask the Lord for discernment. And so I just want to uh, remind people again, uh, as that's what uh, is on the Lord's heart, to, for, for people to wake up, for people to really uh, get a grip on good versus evil, on sin and not sin, and understanding of the times right now. And so more people are going to wake up. A lot of things are going to happen, but we can't be sleeping. We can't just be in expectation of good things to happen and just let uh, every everybody else who's fighting the good fight uh, do it, and then you just sit on the sidelines. At minimum, you got to be praying but uh, if you have an opportunity within your own sphere or whatever it is that you have, a platform or whatever uh, God has convicted you to, uh, to do, you got to be able to do that. And so that's why a lot of us, we're going through a, a tough period of testing and a lot of us are failing, but um, it's not too late. It's not too late to get back up. It's not too late to wake up um, and to, to continue supporting and fighting, right? And so not everybody, again, is in the same camp. There's people at all different maturities and all different levels of understanding. Some people might be too extreme. Some people might be um, a little less. And so you can't be uh, hesitant to be grouped up into, oh, those radical right or those, uh, you know, whatever people, conspiracy people or those whatever people. It's all about the truth, right? It's all about what God wants. And again, even Jesus, he was uh, uh, persecuted. He was called names. He was uh, told as being uh, a false whatever, right? And so even that, but Christ stood for the truth and we have to stand for the truth. And so just wanted to encourage you guys with this. You gotta wake up, gotta be in prayer. Uh, and so God bless you guys and I'll talk to you guys soon.